Full independence may still be a distant dream, but nationalism has found a renewed voice on this island. Not so long ago, just singing the Corsica national anthem was enough to get you beaten up by the French police here. Now the islanders are demanding official status for their language. The expression of Corsican roots was rapidly merged with the expression of political demands, so the singing became hard for the political authorities to accept. And not only the French, but also some Corsicans who were supporters of Greater France. The confrontation then became violent, extremely violent. The brutal struggle for Corsican independence lasted for four decades before weapons were finally surrendered three years ago. The political fight through the ballot box is proving much more successful. A coalition of nationalists now commands 41 out of the 63 seats in the Corsican Assembly. One of their key demands is for the return and amnesty of what they call their political prisoners held in jails across France. What happened in the election last December was an earthquake. It wasn't just the usual renewal of the Assembly. The Corsican people voted by an absolute majority for Corsican nationalists. That's the fact the authorities in Paris have to think about. The nationalists have already served notice on President Macron, warning him that unless he starts listening to them, then hard and conflicting times lie ahead for Paris and Corsica. Corsica was the birthplace of Napoleon, the man Macron is most often measured against in terms of his youth and grand visions. The French president is due on the island next week. Will he choose a compromise or will he defend the integrity of France and its language? David Chater, Al Jazeera, Corsica.